Amadeo Clemente Modigliani was born in 1884 in Tuscany, Italy. He began his artistic studies early in Italy, then moved to Paris in 1906, where he began to create his unique style, influenced by artists of the time, including Picasso and Brancusi. Sick most of his life, he died at the young age of 35 leaving a legacy of his stylized, elongated faces and necks for which his portraits are known. Let's create an elongated portrait in the style of Amadeo Modigliani. So for today's Modigliani inspired portrait, you're going to want a very long piece of paper. This is so long I can't even fit it all the way vertically in the camera. I'm going to use a slightly smaller one to demonstrate. And then you're going to want either some crayons with lots of good skin tones or oil pastels which blend even better than crayons. Um, I even have special skin toned oil pastels that are really great for doing portraits. But regular crayons would work, colored pencils, or blending your own paints would work as well. So to start, I'm going to take my paper vertically, fold it in half so it's about a square, and you'll notice that I had a standard piece of paper and I cut a strip off the side to make it a nice long, tall format. So I folded once in half, then again without opening first. Now when I open it, you'll see I have one, two, three, four sections vertically. Now I'm going to fold once the short side and now we have eight approximate squares. So these lines aren't really going to be in our finished product. It's just to give us some um, placement guidelines if you would like. You could draw a line down the middle, then middle and quarters with a pencil and erase it when you're finished, if that's your preference. So Modigliani did not use normal human proportions. So all of his figures had very long, narrow faces, long, narrow necks, okay? And that's why this long, paper format works so well for this project. So when we draw the head, we're going to start right in the middle where those folds intersect and we're going to come up part way in this top quarter of our paper. We're going to make an oval that comes about there. So here's my oval and you'll see it's a little lopsided but that's okay there's our oval for our head you notice it's a long oval it's not round now i'm going to make two lines that come almost to that bottom fold you see how long this neck is and then i'm going to make shoulders that go out towards the edges of my paper you might have room to drop your shoulders down a little bit now i need to decide um, on the neckline of the clothing that my person is wearing you could just make a smile shape for a very simple like t-shirt collar or you could make a v-neck you could give them a fancy necklace uh, some lace, you could give them a tank top or a jersey, it's up to you. Let's go back to our head and add some features, okay? So Modigliani faces have the features spread even more vertically. So we're going to start with our eyes up way higher than they would be in real life. And I'm going to make two rainbow shapes with two smiles underneath parentheses in the middle for the pupil. I'm going to go ahead and add some eyebrows in. For the mouth, it's going to be close down here near the chin. I'm going to start with a little line. Ooh, it looks like an alien now, doesn't it? 
and a bottom lip and some top lips. For the nose, I'm going to make a simple upside down seven shape. And there's my face. Now you need to decide what kind of hair your person's going to have. I think my person is going to have kind of a curly, natural hairdo. Now the hair comes down on the front of the forehead here. You could have bangs that come all the way down to their eyebrows if you'd like. My crayon broke, but I can still use it. Okay, so my person is going to have some curly hair. And before I forget, I'll do the pupils of their eyes with my black crayon. All right, so now it's time to do the skin tones. You can use regular crayons and blend different colors on top of each other or you can use oil pastels, which blend even more. So I'm going to, you know, I'm gonna use crayons for the eyes because I can be more precise. And I might go back and add a little with oil pastel, but to get in that small space, I'm going to use crayons. Okay, so now for their skin tones, I'm gonna start with one color, but I'm not going to stick with coloring the whole person with that one color universally all over the face. So I'm going to fill it in lighter in some areas and darker in others. And then I'm going to layer a lot of different colors to create a skin tone. So you'll see in my Sacagawea portrait, I used probably six different colors of oil pastel. This was my main color, but I also used more of a peach, um, this very light kind of yellow color, some black and dark brown, and I even used some dark blues, you'll see and whites and purples. So get out all your colors and get really creative. Layer your oil pastels. Let me show you a little bit better on this one. So this doesn't look very good right now, but if you're patient with your layering, it will start to look a lot better. So I'm going to add some highlight areas. with this peach color and some darker areas and then when I go over top with another lighter color it blends things together so you can keep going back and forth with your oil pastels crayons, colored pencils, to blend until you get some nice skin tones. And if you get a little wild with your colors, that's okay. You can make it really any style you want. And it doesn't have to look very realistic. Modigliani, in his portrait, sometimes the people did look like they had a little bit of a green or a purple tint to their faces. So I'm adding just a little bit of blue in the shadowy areas and then I'll go back with a lighter color and blend that in.
And of course, you'll want to do the neck the same way. You'll see here I've got some yellows and some rust colors and purples and blues with the darker colors on the edges of the neck and under the chin. So one last thing with the Modigliani style is he often had kind of a bold outline around the chin. So you may want to go back with a black or purple or dark brown at the end to do that as well. Don't forget to add your hair. And when you add your air, hair, excuse me, you can also add highlights and lowlights of different colors like I've done here. I've got some yellows and blues and purples in her hair as well. So I hope you have fun with this project. I can't wait to see what you create. Email your artwork to jennifer at blowingrockmuseum.org. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and consider donating or becoming a member of the Blown Rock Art and History Museum.